Futsal was developed in the 1930s in Brazil when there wasn't enough space to play on regular full-size football pitches. It's a game that includes close control and a lot of skill. Something I specialise in too. But I'm really interested to see what I can learn from these guys and actually whether being a great futsal player can make you an even better footballer. I think the modern game now is moving towards a more possession-based game. Possession is, is, is the king, possession is power. Defences are becoming very compact, difficult to break down. They'll drop a lot deeper and surrender possession, knowing that they can quickly counter-attack. That, in a nutshell, is the game of futsal. For this episode, I'm in Newcastle to hang out and train with the England futsal team. For these guys, control is the most important part of their game. Five aside, five players uh, either side. The goalkeeper's restrictions on throwing the ball out, uh, four seconds. Same with kick-ins, uh, same with corners as well. Obviously the ball is a little bit different, it's more weighted compared to a football. And obviously the tendency is to receive the ball in your soul, so you can change direction nice and quick. It's fast. I need to just get a touch on the ball, I can't do it at the minute. So this is a training session now, can you explain a little bit about what's happening tonight? Yeah, it's the first game of the Four Nations tournament for us, uh, playing America. Tonight we want to we wanna dominate possession really, so we've just tried to polish that up this morning and then we've gone into a full court game where I've fabricated or manufactured set plays, so that's what we've been practising this morning. Paramount. If you have a bad touch, uh, you're going to put yourself in trouble and the rest of the team in trouble. We do train a lot on control, uh, ball manipulation, knowing where to go, knowing where to, uh, yeah. to pass the ball. Body feints, but obviously being in control of the ball at the same time. And do you think if you could get really good at futsal, obviously it would really help you in a regular game of football? Oh, without a doubt. First touch is sometimes not even to control it. The first touch is a little shimmy on the ball to get rid of the player to create the space, and then they've knocked it into another bit of space. So it's really fast paced. Do you say you're physically like a small team, or compared to some of the other teams, or is it kind of personally individually? Oh, yeah. I, but, um, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't picking on you. Yeah, no, <laughs> when you get higher up the ranks, they tend to be quite a lot bigger. It's really. Yeah, yeah. So what sort of drills can you do to work on your close control? Well, if you're at home in the back garden or whatever, in the car park, <laughs> you can do uh, lots of other pose stuff, round cones, put some jumpers down, round the jumpers, lots of keepy ups, as you well know, about yeah. your freestyling, yeah, right, right. all that sort of stuff. As long as you're touching the ball, it's always going to work on your first touch. And both, both feet as well, that's massively important in futsal. Well, I was speaking with some of the England futsal players about how to work on your control. Obviously, I know a lot about that as well. So here's a couple of exercises that you can do to work on your close control. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a little drill where you're manipulating the ball in a square with the sole of your foot. And all you're doing is just moving the ball around like that, both feet, nice and close and controlled. Practice that with both feet and that will really work on your control. Another drill is keep uppies. Keeping the ball up in the air with both feet, left, right, left, right, left, right. Trying to aim to kick the ball up to about knee height each time. Both feet, so watch how I'm doing left, right, left, right, left, right. After you've done a few, you're gonna knock one up in the air and try and keep it up with the other foot. Same again, knock it up in the air and then keep it up. So go and practice that. So another great thing to do is dribble the ball around cones. If you haven't got cones, you can always use jumpers, just like Ian said. So here you go. Running around the cones, using the soles of the feet and the insides of the feet, making sure you use both feet. And get practicing.
I'm jumping on the bus now with the England boys. Uh, I'm going to head back to the hotel and uh, let's see what the atmosphere is like on the bus before the game tonight. My name's Luke Ballinger, I'm the skipper of the squad and I'm the main goal scoring threat. Hi, I'm Sam, I play for England Futsal, I'm more of an attacking player. So what's it like to be captain of the England Futsal team? It's good, these boys are top lads, you know? Yeah. They drive me insane sometimes, but they're right. <laughs> they keep me on my feet. And you're using the sole, aren't you, a lot during futsal? A lot, yeah. Hence the reason they've got the kind of the pink rubbery section there with the little pimples in them. But yeah, you use your sole for uh, most of the game. You know, we've all got, like I said, like I said, uh, full time jobs. Uh, we play futsal in the National League off our own bats as well for our, our local sides. Um, and we some of us do travel an hour, an hour and a half to get to our, our National League side. So it's a big commitment from the lads. So the boys are just grabbing some lunch now and they're going to rest up this afternoon. We'll catch up with them later tonight as they take on the US of A. So here we are, the time has come. I think England are down there now warming up. Big game tonight against the USA. We've got some of the fans here as well. Lads, you looking forward to it? Yay! It's going to be a good one. First time they've played USA, but I think they're going to do it. Come on, boys. I am so looking forward to this now. Just after even just seeing that warm up. I'll tell you something though, it is a real honour to be here today. Obviously to get the opportunity to train with these boys and then watch them, it's just brilliant representing their country. And you have to remember, these guys have got normal jobs, it's, it's not a professional sport. One nil USA. England are playing too offensive, they're just waiting for USA to attack. That goal was coming for the last 10 minutes. USA have had all the possession and that was inevitable. So that's the end of the first half. USA winning 1-0 at the minute. Still got 20 minutes to go, so hopefully they can pull it back. Let's see. So they've just scored another goal, two and a half minutes on the clock. That's such a nightmare for England now. <laughs> Great shot. So close. First half, you know, we, we always have that kind of problem where we're trying to find out what the team, what the opposition are like. Man, I thought it was a good first game for us, you know, yeah. we didn't quite know what to expect. They play with the top player, a very strong top player, so we can take from it how to deal with that. This is what, all, what it's all about for us, just trying to get games, competitive games, since we don't really have the opportunity in the United States. We're, we're now going to the next tier of uh, level of opponents, so we are now at the bottom of the next tier. So what do you feel about me having a little shot against you? Hey now? man. Obviously England could only put one pass you. <laughs> Let me lace them up. Let's lace do them it, up, buddy. Let's do yeah, it. come have on. Have a go. Should I, should I do it as like a pen or something? Sure, penalty. Well, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing right now. Come on, I'm, I'm bet you do. For England. Oh! <laughs> what a reaction. That was the best save I had all day right there, man. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Cool, man. Appreciate it very Great much, save. guys. Thanks so much. That's unbelievable. I thought I had that, and all of a sudden it was like, bam! <laughs> that was ridiculous. That, that was good.